Hey, what's up, my cool like that peeps? It is me, your cool like that Asian in the house. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Happy Tuesday, and here is Sophia. Yes, my little girl, my little girl. Cody's outside, so I wanted to bring her in because we're going to talk a little about her today. Look at my hands, okay? Look. Get all. I don't know if you guys can see that. All scars and everything from her. Claws! Her claws, look at that. Okay, so, anyways, so she's really young right now. So, um, she was actually sick um, last week, and we were trying to get her better. Right after her sister passed, um, she started to get sick, and we were trying to track to make sure that um, she didn't have what her sister had. Well, apparently she got a lot better, and she um, we started to... Um, See a lot of improvement in her, and she. Oh, we're going to be taking her to the vet this Friday, um, and taking pets. Okay, people. I know a lot of people said take take pets to the vet and everything like that. Taking pets to the vet is very expensive, and people think that we have a lot of money. We don't. Okay, we we just um. We just for, for pets we, it's a lot of money, and people don't realize that, um, but. We, we're going to take her to the vet this Friday um, to make sure she she's vaccinated and all that stuff. And she looks so cute, doesn't she? She looks a lot better than she, she did a couple days ago. We had to, um, thanks to Beth. Beth, I got to thank you, um, Silver Screen Girl. Um, I got to thank you for the, the advice you gave because I, I did email Beth because Beth said she had pets for a very long time. No, a cat for a very long time. So she gave me a lot of advice, and she told me to um, take like run hot water and have um, Sophia breathe in the hot the the hot water, the vapors, and everything like that. And it majorly helped her. So um, her wheezing stopped, and she's eating a lot more regularly. So I'm very happy about that. Um, so we're gonna take her to the vet, get her her shots and everything like that because I want my kids healthy. Cody started getting sniffles yesterday, but um, it's kind of crazy, huh? Talking about pets like that. But um, anyways, so I wanted to ask because look at my scars, right? So you're looking at my my scars, and it all came from Sophia. So I don't know if it's focusing. <laughs> she said yes, yes. So, it all came from Sophia. So, my question to you is, because I posed this question on Facebook, and I got a lot of responses saying not to do it. I want to know, for cats, because I thought um, previously that it was inhumane for for us to declaw cats. What is your feelings about that, and what, what do you guys suggest for us to do about um, declawing cats? Um, declawing little Sophia. What what do you think we should do? I want to get your honest opinions because I'm half and half on this situation because I'm starting to not like my skin getting scratched up. I'm starting... <laughs> and then our furniture more than likely will get scratched up later and more than likely not. So we want to see what your opinions are. What do you feel about declawing cats? Should we or should we not? That is the question for today. Look at Sophia. Look, look, look. Yes. Huh? What? <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, so I want to know your honest opinions. You guys let me know, and I'll catch you guys on later. Love you. Bye.